Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day as always. Well, as you guys can see on the thumbnail, dude, I need some help with these snakes. And dude, I know a lot of people always end up helping me. I love the feedback that you guys give me. But man, these snakes that I just hatched right now are crazy. I don't even know what's in there. I'll show you guys the male and the female, and then we'll go through each one. Then we're gonna talk about some shed testing we're gonna send out that I'm really, really excited about and letting you guys know why we're doing this and the possibilities of some of these things testing out being positive for this or this and that, it's gonna be just, dude, so next level. But something I wanna to talk to you guys about real quick is we already have some girls that have already had their last pairings over here and I'm super, super excited about it. So check this out. Gotham Head Sunset, I was one of the first ones to make clown combos that were Head Sunset. Um, and look at this, she just had her last lock and she was paired up to the Spot Nose Sunset Head Clown. So again, like I was saying, we can make some Batman Sunsets, we can make some Gotham Sunsets, we can make some, what's it one called? Scarecrow? Scarecrow, damn turtle! <laughs> Scarecrow Sunsets. So that's the one I'm really, really excited about. My number one snake right now pairing that I have so as far as like the future, like is this one the next one I'm gonna be showing. So she just got anything that has an X right here means I had their last lock. This right here is a hypo puzzle. And look at it again, bull wrapping. She was already at 25 millimeter follicles on May 1st. And she just had her last lock on the 18th with none other than our Desert Ghost Sunset. I mean, dude, talk about like an awesome, you know, uh, quad right there. Again, we all know that Puzzle and Sunset do really, really well. We know Sunset and Hypo do very, very well. We know Sunset and Desert Ghost do very, very well. And now imagine getting them all them together. Dude, that is gonna be so next level. Another one here that we're gonna be having pretty close here is this Black Pastel Spot Nose Clown Head Hypo, but no, not yet, not yet. But over here, guys, we have two last locks that we did that I'm just hoping for this girl to just boost up on the follicles, and that means all three sisters that I held back are going to be going. So, so far, we have this one right here. Look how big she is. Right here, we have an Orange Dream Yellow Belly. Looks like she has an egg right there, huh? <laughs> orange Dream Yellow Belly. Triple head hypo puzzle desert ghost bred to a yellow belly hypo double head desert ghost puzzle. Now we could hit an ivory there, but also we could also hit something really, really crazy. The next one is a hypo double head puzzle desert ghost. So right here, obviously everything's gonna be hypo. Then we're gonna be hoping to hit some hypo puzzle yellow bellies or hypo desert ghost puzzle yellow bellies, anything of that sort. Even if I just hit a hypo, if I can hit a desert ghost, Oh, that's gonna be good because there are already hypos. Yeah, so if I could just hit a hypo puzzle desert ghost, I'll be super happy with that. But yeah, that's some of the stuff here that we're already having that um, they had their last locks. I believe we had the VPI clown that we ended up, oh, Patch is right. Dude, Patch, come here. You haven't been in the vlog for a while since you attacked a <laughs> raccoon. Well, that raccoon attacked you. Say what's up, Patch. But yeah, so we have another one that actually did a last log too, but I did not put the X on there. That's because we were on vacation and my nephew did it. But remember we had the VPI clown and we had the black pastel chocolate hypo DG head clown to her. So he wasn't locking up with her anymore. So we put one more male in with her at the end. So hopefully he got her. It was a uh, hurricane hypo clown. So it'd be pretty cool to hit some, you know, hurricane clowns. It'll be double head hypo exantic vpis but yeah super excited about that guys all right so i don't want to talk too much about it but i'm really excited about some of these snakes that you know are going to be going already and so much other snakes are already around like what 23 millimeters 20s uh 18 millimeter follicles like this one we have one more lock for her black pastel cypress hypo head clown bred to the hurricane hypo clown i mean dude no one's ever seen any hypo hurricane Wait, cypress hurricane hypo clowns i mean dude that'll be insane but guys check this out not only do we have one two three four five six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one shed test that we're gonna be sending out to rare genetic ink over there with sean and benson dude i'm super excited about this remember last time they did this for us they ended up making our collection that much more valuable and just that much more money because i was able to sell some other ones that i was confident and saying that they proved out here and there and not playing the guessing game but dude we we're super excited we moved everything down the line over here already because you know when we get on we're gonna go through them and just hope 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 that they prove out and then we have a couple of more i believe we have one two three four 
that we have to um, take the test, the shed test from, and that is it. But guys, I'm telling you guys, dude, Rare Genetic Ink is a lifesaver. They're doing a lot for us. They're doing a lot for everybody. Make sure you guys go check them out. All right, guys, let's check out this cool clutch here that I have no idea what the hell they are, but we'll show off the male and the female starting now. So guys, real quick, Tina just brought something up that, you know, you know, would be pretty cool to show you guys. Why we're so excited about, you know, um, setting out the test. So look at all these snakes out here. Like, so we have some DGs right here. That could be 100% head sunset. Um, nobody's uh, made some of these or has them out there yet. We have some sunsets that are possible head desert ghost. And another desert ghost, like a possible head sunset. And on top of that, we have some other crazy stuff over here as well too. Um, spot no sunset, possible head clowns, yellow bellies, uh, pastel. This one's really cool. Look at that. But yeah, we're super excited about that. But yeah, guys, so remember the clutch I was telling you guys that we hit the double visuals for the first time or, you know, missed on the triples? Well, they're right there, but they're in super, super shed. We only had two double visuals, but once they shed out, you guys know I'll do a video for you guys. But okay, before that, let me go show you guys the male and female. So you guys, I need your help. Remember, help me, help me with this. Dude, I'm not a know-it-all, man. I could guess on certain things here that I'm confident about some certain stuff, you know, because I've had so many of them, but I'm not a guy that's gonna be like, oh yeah, it's this and this and this and that. I'll let you know guys what I think it might be, but when you got Wookie and Bongo playing together, it's kind of a little hard. So this was the female right here. So right here we have a GHI Mojave Gravel, right? Beautiful, beautiful snake. So, and it's crazy because we hit no highways or anything like that, which kind of sucks. And then we use this male right here, this huge giant male, which is a Wookie Bongo Red Stripe Yellow Belly Clown. Look how beautiful this guy is. This guy was always a great eater. This guy's gonna be going up for sale here. So remember, so we have Bongo, we have Wookie, we have Red Stripe, we have Yellow Belly, we have GHI, we have Mojave, and we have Gravel in there, which Gravel's kind of like Yellow Belly, I really can't tell some things here and there. But yeah, we have seven code downs working on that. We have seven, six babies. So let's see what we, let's see what we have. All right guys, so here we go. So there's still one here that has not shut out, but we'll start off with this one. So I believe this right here is a Wookie Mojave, I don't know, what you think? Wookie Mojave Bongo or Wookie Mojave Gravel? Don't know, can't tell you guys, but it's a very, very pretty snake. Now we had something here that already shed out that's very similar to that. And right here is this one, which I think is a Mojave GHI Wookie. I don't know, could it be Yellow Belly? Or what do you think, Turtle? <laughs> I'm lost with these guys. Awesome. Now remember all these snakes, guys. Bro, this is just two of them that I shared so far. This one, I'm very confident in saying that this is a GHI <laughs> Bongo. Um, maybe Wookie as well, too. Dude, these code dogs are getting crazy when you have so much stuff on there. The cool thing about this, too, is that they're all 100% head clown. So we have that one right there. Then we have this one, which... Let's say, is this a highway? What is this like? Mojave, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, Bongo? He's got a lot of the same coloring as his dad. Right, but the line on there too, I mean, definitely, I don't know. Again, guys, help me with these. These are crazy. Then we have some of these two that are like the prettiest ones. Look at this. Tell me that thing's not cool. We have that one, and we have another one too that's very similar, just a little lighter. Look at that. So yeah, we're we're pretty lost with these. I don't know what they are, um, but they are beautiful, beautiful snakes. So guys, do me a big favor. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we'll do one more look at these. Like, let me know what you guys think. It's so crazy, right? Dude, I'm telling you, man, it, it's, it's, you think it gets easier within time, but then when, you know, I'm not really trying to do so much Kodom stuff. This last prank, I really wanted to make some highways and, you know, totally missed out, missed on out on that one. But it's getting really, really hard when you put so much Kodom stuff. Right now, my main focus is those little poodles right there. Show those poodles off. 
Oh, they just took off. There's one of us still there. Poodle. Oh, hey, get down. Fight. Fight. <laughs> so, so yeah, so again, we're focusing more on double visual, triple visuals, or double visual, double heads, type stuff like that. But still cool to see some of these code dumps that I've never even seen in my life. But if you guys ever made any of these and you guys have an idea, please comment down below. I love hearing you guys and seeing what you guys say. But as always, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, peace.